Hi everyone, here I am going to explain you index plus match function. I will also show you how is it different from VLOOKUP and what are the advantages of index plus match over VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP also. So let's start with an example. In the first example, I will show you how we can get the output of index plus match which is similar to VLOOKUP. Here I want to look up employee ID and I want to find the name department. So here employee ID is in the first A column and we want to get the output name department and salary which is towards the right of the lookup value which is similar to vlookup requirement so here we will write is equal to index we press tab in index plus match function we need to only select the final output column in comparison to vlookup where we need to select all the entire table so here we need the name as an output so we will select column b now we will press comma we will write match function so we will write m a t c h we we'll press tab here again like a VLOOKUP we have to select the lookup value so the lookup value is employee id so we'll select the cell so we need to fix here h column because when we drag the formula towards the right we want h to not change whereas when we drag the formula towards the bottom we want this row number three should become four and then five so here we will only fix h we'll now press comma now we have to select the lookup array. Lookup array will be the column where our input is present. For example, here employee ID and employee ID is present in column A. So we'll select column A. We'll fix this column because we want employee ID to be constant across all the output here. So we'll press F4. Now we press comma. We press zero. We we'll close the bracket. Again, we press comma, press one, and then close the bracket. We can press enter here. We see that we have got the name of the employee 109. Now, if we drag the formula towards the right and towards the bottom, we see that we have got the right output for all the employee ID. Let's move to another table where we will have a better capability in index plus match in comparison to VLOOKUP. In this table, we want to look up employee ID and we want to look up the employee ID for the salary 80,000, 50,000, 70,000. In VLOOKUP, we always need to have the lookup value on the left and the output column should be on the right. Whereas index match have a capability where we can look left also and towards the right also. So we will write here is equal to index. We see that our output column is column A. So here we will select column A. We will not fix this column because when we want to drag towards the right, employee ID should move towards name and then move towards department. So we will press comma. Now we will write match. Press tab. Here we have to select the lookup value which is 80,000. We will select the cell as we want to move towards right and we want this 80,000 should not change. We we'll press F4 three times because here we want H to not become I and not become J. Whereas if you want to drag the formula towards bottom, we want 9 to become 10 and then 11. Now we will press comma. We have to select here where the salary is present. So in this case, the salary is present in D column. So we will select column D. We always want to fix the salary column because whenever we drag the formula, we want the salary should be looked up in the same column only. So we we'll press F4 here. Now we we'll press comma, we we'll press zero, close the bracket, press comma and then one and close the bracket. We see that we have got the employee ID 105 for the salary 80,000. Now if we drag the formula towards the bottom and towards the right, we see that we have got the desired output. Here we see that we have got the lookup value where the lookup column was towards the right and the output column was towards the left, which is better than Wilco function. Let's now apply an index match formula where both row and column is very dynamic. For example, here, if we change the column here to David and Jack, we get the same output. And if we change here column name to location and here to salary, the output should be dynamic. So here let's go ahead to apply index plus match formula. We'll write is equal to index plus tab. We'll select the output table. So here the output table is the entire table here. We'll press F4. We'll press comma. We'll write match. We'll press tab. Now the lookup value is David here. So we'll press David here. We'll press F4 three times. F4, F4, F4. We see that column H is locked here. So when we move towards the right, column H will not become I whereas when we move towards down David will become Jack so we'll go to next argument we'll press comma now the lookup column is name column so we'll select the name column and we'll fix this so we'll press F4 once we'll press comma press 0 close the bracket as we want to have dynamic column also so we'll write one more match function so we'll write comma match press tab now the lookup column is location so we'll select location press F4 two times 
because here we don't want 14 should become 15 when we drag the formula down whereas we want the location to become salary when we drag the formula towards the right so here i is not logged and 14 is only logged we we'll press comma now we will select the header column so we will select this header column we will press f4 here we will press comma we will write 0 close the bracket and again close the bracket press enter we see that we have got the location new york for the name david now if you drag the formula towards the bottom and if you drag the formula towards the right we have got the output now if you change the header name like for example here if i change the header from salary to department we see that automatically we have got the department of these name now again suppose we are changing here the header to employee id we'll get the desired output so here we see that index and match have higher capability versus vlookup and it is faster and efficient versus vlookup